In this video, you'll learn about the topic tissue culture or also known as micropropagation. The members of plant kingdom possess a unique property in their cells of their living tissues and this property is called totipotency, which is utilized by humans to perform tissue culture, which involves propagation at the micro level and hence also called micropropagation. To perform the process, a part of plant containing living cells, say a leaf, is collected called the explant. The explant as it is contains non-dividing cells and cannot be used. So it is subjected to equal concentrations of two plant hormones, auxins and cytokinins. This causes the de-differentiation of permanent non-dividing cells of the explant and it starts to divide. As a result, a mass of undifferentiated dividing cells are formed called callus. The cells of callus are totipotent, that is, each cell is capable of producing a completely new plant body. These cells can be separated into n number of parts to produce new plants. For the formation of new plant, first the development of shoot is induced by subjecting the cells to both auxin and cytokinin, but the ratio of auxin by cytokinin being less than 1, that is, more amount of cytokinin is used as compared to auxin. Soon enough, young shoot starts developing from the undifferentiated cells. For the development of roots, the young stem are placed in test tubes containing liquid medium with auxin by cytokinin ratio being more than 1 this time, that is, more auxin than cytokinin. This promotes development of the roots from the base of the stem. The young plants thus developed are called plantlets. These plantlets are then transferred to soil containing pots for a process called hardening. Hardening procedures make the plantlets capable of tolerating the relatively harsher environments outside the laboratories. It involves placing the plants in low temperature, high humidity environment and holding the watering for 4 to 5 days. The hardened plants are then finally transferred to crop fields. Now let's discuss some advantages and disadvantages of micropropagation. Unlimited number of plants can be prepared from a single cell. The new plants are genetically similar, that is, the clone of the parent plant and thus will maintain the hybrid character. Disease-free plants can be obtained from infected plants by using apical meristem as explant. The disadvantages are, cost of setup is high and the chances of contamination is also very high. So that is all for this video.